Between 1990 and 2012, the number of adults diagnosed with diabetes more than tripled. Nearly a third of the people with type 1 diabetes will eventually develop kidney disease. As many as 10 to 15 percent of diabetic patients will develop end-stage renal disease and require hemodialysis or a kidney transplant. Those statistics are simply too high. Fifty years ago when Dr. John told me I had diabetes, uh, he didn't paint a very good picture. He said, you're probably going to have significant health issues for the rest of your life. I might lose limbs because of poor circulation. I might have problems with my, with my nerves. My kidneys might fail. He said if I didn't wait too long, I could probably have kids, but I probably wouldn't live to see them graduate from high school. The prospects that he laid out were not very good. I haven't had any of those situations occur because of the benefit of the, the development of treatment methods and drugs and technologies over the last 50 years. Diabetic nephropathy, it's a devastating complications of diabetes in general and of type 1 diabetes. Finding new therapy that are effective in slowing or reversing these important complications are urgently needed to improve the life of our patients. That is why the University of Michigan is proud to be one of the very few academic centers throughout the country to participate in this landmark study, which is called Prevention of Early Renal Loss in Type 1 Diabetes, or PERV. This type of research is very important because we have proved in the past that by performing this type of control studies, we see whether a certain intervention is or not effective, whether it is also dangerous or not for our patients. We have demonstrated that when we did the diabetes control and complications trial that had changed the standard of care for diabetes in the last 20 uh, years. The PEARL study will build on that momentum and that is why it's so exciting to be part of it. Uh, it will have the opportunity to help millions of patients with diabetes who are at risk of losing their kidney function sooner or later. To stop progression of the disease, it's so important. And we can do that with a simple agent that could be available. By having few people participating in this study, it could translate in saving kidney function and improving quality of life and preventing late complications for many years for millions of people in the US and throughout the world. Everyone knows someone with diabetes. A friend, a family member, do your part, get involved in these research programs, and make sure that they have an opportunity to live their life to the fullest. If you are between the ages of 18 and 65 and have type 1 diabetes, you can help slow the progression of kidney disease or even stop it. To learn how, call 734-936-8656 or visit pearl-study.org.